Hey guys, it's Courtney. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm filming my October empties and I think I have a decent amount of products this month, especially makeup. So I have this huge bag of stuff. So I'm going to get started because I don't want to be here for like 20 minutes. So as tradition, I'm going to start off with my makeup items. And this one is not directly a makeup item, but it helps me apply them. So this is the e.l.f. contour brush and this is for the eyes. And as you can see, it's just like flat and beat up and it kind of looks like a square so I'm just gonna pick up one of these next time I'm at a Target or something I love this brush so much I forget how long I've had this one for probably a little over a year and a half and I still have other brushes that I can use but this is great for using on your outer corner and it's great if you're working on shadows in your pan that palette challenge because it's a very stiff brush so if you want to make a lot of progress just use this brush because it's so dense and you'll definitely make a good dip in your eyeshadows. This is $3 from their studio line, so I will repurchase this brush, but it's about dead for now. So this is an item that is not a Project Pan item. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, and I love this mascara a lot. I've been using this for about four months, so I just decided to call it quits on it. So that's what the brush looks like. It looks a little creepy, not creepy, it looks a little, I guess, rough around the edges right now because it's dried now. I used most of the product in here. What I didn't like about this mascara is that sometimes when you pulled chunks out, it would get gross around this thing right here. And this mascara gave you a lot of length, some decent volume separation, and this was an all around great mascara. I have a bunch of mascaras to go through, but if I were to receive a sample of this, I would definitely use it and enjoy it. I actually gave a sample of this to my friend because I just had so many mascaras and I didn't want to have to wait a long time to use it again, so I just gave it to her. So I finished this mascara and I'm almost done with another mascara as well. So I guess I would repurchase this, but there's still mascaras that I like better even though this did perform really nicely. This is also a non-project pan item, and this is the Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner Pencil, if I can get it open. And this is in the shade Onyx, and it was just scratching my eye, and this actually wasn't my favorite eyeliner. I can probably get a swatch for you, though. Yeah, it's pretty black. It's just not my favorite. Sometimes it would transfer in the waterline, and it wouldn't stay in my tight line that long, but... It was a nice eyeliner, but drugstore eyeliner still worked just as well for me, so I wouldn't purchase this. So it was alright, but it wasn't my favorite. Another makeup item that I finished up finally was this Maybelline Lust for Blush Creamy Matte Lipstick, and I can still get a little swatch for you as well, sort of. Eh, okay. Maybe not. So that's what the color sort of looks like. But this was a great matte lipstick, great color for the fall, and as you can see, I finished it all up, and this part is just the plastic. So, I love this. I would probably repurchase this color in the future, and definitely more of the Maybelline lipsticks, especially the creamy matte formula, because it's a great formula. It is a matte formula, but it doesn't make your lips feel really dry. Super pigmented, and this was an all-around great lipstick, especially for the price, so I would highly recommend this. I just have... A few more lipsticks that I want to go through before I repurchase any more lipsticks. And I believe this is the final makeup item for this empties video and this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Nude Pink and this is very sad because I freaking loved this. This was a very similar product to the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I used it very similarly as well. I just applied this after I put on an actual primer and then I put cream shadows on and then my powder shadow and it made my eyeshadows last all day. This was a mauve skin tone color and it was just great. I love the Maybelline color tattoos and I would definitely suggest this color if you can find it. I actually found this at the Dollar Tree about a year ago and I was so excited because this color tattoo was just amazing so I would repurchase it if I could. Next I actually have some candle empties and I can't really smell them all that well because I am sick right now and my nose is all stuffy thanks to my boyfriend. He was just sick. But this is the Christmas Cookie Yankee Candle and I suck at burning candles because I normally just never did. My mom didn't trust me enough to burn candles in my house, but it burned all the way down. It smells like a birthday cake. It smells so good. It didn't have an amazing scent throw, I guess just due to the size of it since this is a very small one, but 
it smelled nice and it was just a cute little candle. I've had this for so long because I want it at one of my, I guess, it wasn't like a party, but it was one, it was a holiday party for one of the organizations that I was in in high school because I was on the like officer board. So I'm glad this is done because I've had this for so long. Finished the sun-drenched vineyard little mason jar candle from Bath and Body Works and this smells really really nice. It smells like a musky fruit punch in the best way possible. I didn't love the scent, like it wasn't my favorite scent, but I did really enjoy it at the same time. I'm just not sure if I would purchase this in the full size because I personally prefer more like apple scents or bakery type scents, so I probably wouldn't repurchase this, but these candles are so cute, so I'd love to pick them up for decoration, but this is actually a free candle coupon thing that I redeemed, so it was nice to get it for free, I just probably wouldn't repurchase it. I finished up this Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector pressed version in opal little sample and that's what the little card looks like. I think the full size of this is like $38 and I'd probably pick up the one in Moonstone in the future. I really did enjoy the pressed version of this. I used this as an eyeshadow but it didn't really last that long in the eyes but it was really nice as a face highlight which is what it's supposed to be used for but like I said I just prefer Moonstone so if I were to purchase a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector highlight in the press version, it would definitely be Moonstone, but this was really nice. I finished up this Luxton Creme Divine cream sample, and this was fine. It wasn't anything special. I can't really remember that much about it, but I don't think it had a very offensive scent, so that's good. I just wouldn't purchase it because I have other moisturizers that I like better. I finished up this Nude Detox Brightening Fizzy Powder Wash, and it's in here. So, this has vitamin C, omegas 3, 6, and 9, and rosehip seed in it. And this was just a powder cleanser, and this was really nice, but I am a very clumsy person, so I feel like if I purchased this, I would just waste a ton of it, and I can actually feel some in the bottom, but I'm not going to use up the rest of it, because I just couldn't get it out when I was using it up. But it was nice. I believe it had a scent to it, but I can't remember, and especially because I can't really smell that much right now. My senses are just really off. So definitely would not repurchase this in the future or purchase it, but it was okay. It just wasn't anything special to me, I guess. And then the final sample that I used up was this Lasten Creme Comfort Legere cream and like I said I have other moisturizers that I like better. I'm currently using the Sebamed one and then I have a L'Oreal one for my nighttime ones and then I have a La Roche Posay one but I believe this was both great for day and night so it was nice like I said just wouldn't repurchase it because I have stuff I like better and it's also more affordable than this. I used up this travel size body spray of the Beautiful Day scent from Bath and Body Works. I love the scent in the shower gel as well as the lotion, but this was a little too strong for me. This is a very musky apple scent, which was really nice. I really liked this for like a room spray, and then it did last fairly well for me throughout the day. I would repurchase these sprays again in this size. I actually do like them. I've gone back and forth with the ones that I liked. There's certain ones that I like more than others, so I probably would repurchase this, especially because they're really good room sprays. But probably just not in this scent again, I don't think. But I would repurchase the scent and other body products from them. So as for lotions, I finished up three lotions this month, which puts my total lotions used up in 2015 at 38, which is crazy. I can't believe I've gone through so many lotions this year. That is actually a problem, but it's good at the same time because I'm working through my lotions that I have. So I finished up this Balea Body Lotion in Cabana Dream. I got this from Christine Gross in the package she sent me from Germany so graciously. I didn't love this lotion though. It was kind of a very watery lotion and it was a little bit sticky at the same time, but it smelled okay. It smelled like passion fruit and it was okay, but I can't purchase this anyway because they don't carry this brand in the States, but it was okay and it was fun to try out. And then I also finished up this Bourbon Strawberry and Vanilla 24 Hour Ultra Shea Body Cream from Bath & Body Works and I cut it open and used it up. 
I used this one up in like the beginning of October, so I don't really remember the smell that much. It smells nice, it's just not my favorite, I guess. It's just kind of a basic strawberry scent. So the notes are bourbon vanilla, garden strawberry, apricot nectar, pink jasmine, and white oak. And this was a great scent. I actually got this on sale at their semi-annual sale, so it was nice, but I have other scents that I prefer from the line. I really like these Ultra Shea body creams from Bath & Body Works. They're very thick, but they're not greasy, so I would recommend them, especially for the winter and fall. So, wouldn't pick up the scent again, I don't think, but this was nice because of the formula. And then I also finished up this little size of the Cashmere Glow body lotion from Bath & Body Works, and I love the Cashmere Glow scent. This is just a musky vanilla scent. It's Definitely not as strong as the Wild Madagascar Vanilla. That one's a little more warm than this, but this was a really nice scent and I would pick up another one of these in the future. I finished up this mini size of the Coconut and Exotic Tropical scent from Batiste, the dry shampoo. And my favorite is the Fruity and Cheeky Cherry scent, but this one is my second favorite. It just smells really nice and coconutty and it makes my hair look really nice after a couple of days of not washing it and I just love the Batiste dry shampoo so much. I think my boyfriend just threw a water bottle at my window. I love the Batiste dry shampoo and I would repurchase this scent again. It was really nice. And then some bath products or shower products. I finished off this Skin to Minute Raspberry Rain Shave Gel and I think this is my favorite scent for the Skin to Minute Shave Gels but I prefer the lotionized formula, so if those two had a baby, then that would be perfect because this is a little bit too sheer. Like, I feel like I cut myself with this, but I like the scent, so it works, but the lotionized formula is definitely a little bit thicker and sticks to my legs better, but I would have purchased this because, I don't know, that's what my mom gets, so usually she just gives this to me, so it's nice. And then I also finished this and then I also finished this Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and Coconut Lime. These are amazing scrubs. I know I've talked these to death, but I love them so much. All the scents that I've tried, I love. I currently have the Brazilian Nut, and it just smells so luxurious since it smells like chocolate, and I just love it. They're a very harsh scrub, but it definitely gets the dead skin cells off of your body, and I just love this, and I will continuously repurchase this in the future because I love them so much. I finished these Swispers Cotton Rounds, and I think this is the 100 count. These are nice. I love cotton rounds. They're great for applying toner, removing nail polish, removing makeup, and stuff like that. So definitely would pick these up again, and I currently have one going on right now. And then speaking of nail polish remover, I finished off this Equate Beauty Strengthening and Nourishing Makeup, not makeup remover, nail polish remover, and it worked really nicely. I like this kind. For some reason, I feel like the pink or purple kind doesn't work as well. I'm just weird. I don't know why I think that, but I just do. So I like the blue kinds, so that's what I'll continue to pick up. And I have a huge size of this right now going, and it works really well. And then the last item I finished up is this Maybelline Algun Makeup and Ferner, which is a makeup remover from Germany, and this is the Maybelline New York brand that they have there. And the shape of this is definitely different. It's kind of like a weird rectangle, I guess. But this is a great makeup remover. I still prefer my Equate one. I don't think I'll ever stray from it. But it was really nice. Didn't burn my eyes and removed all of my makeup really nicely. So if I could pick this up in the States, I would. But I still like my Equate one better. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my beauty trash this month. I love filming empties videos and I loved watching them, of course. I find them to be super helpful to figure out which products that someone likes or hates and I just love them so much. I think they're really interesting to watch so I hope you enjoyed mine. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like this video, and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye!